Today we will be reviewing the Logitech G100S. This is one of Logitech's smaller gaming mice. Actually, it's so small that it's almost the same size as the Razer Crate. In fact, it weighs approximately 78 grams, which is actually less than the Razer Crate. Here you can see it compared to the Razer Abyssus 2014 edition. It's just a little bit smaller than that. Now I should mention the mouse buttons are actually quite good on this mouse also. Okay, let's head into the drivers. Okay, now the first thing that you'll notice is that this mouse has four buttons. The mouse does have onboard memory and allows the user to set up to six profiles and set commands. On the final page of the drivers, you can set your report rate and your DPI. Sadly, the report rate can only be set to 125 or 500. As for the DPI, you can set it between 250 and 2500. Now let's talk about how the sensor performs. Here I did two swipes, one going to the right and one going to the left. Here you can clearly see massive negative acceleration before it hits 3 meters a second on the swipe that went to the right. Now on the swipe going the other direction you can clearly see it still hits malfunction speed before 3 meters a second. Due to its low malfunction speed I decided to keep testing this on different DPI's including its default 1000 DPI. Sadly though the results remained pretty consistent. The malfunction speed seems to be just under 3 meters a second. Overall, I wouldn't say this is a terrible mouse, but with its sensor performance, I can't see why someone would decide to choose this one over the Razer Crate 2013 edition. As always, here are a list of specs. Now, if you like my mouse reviews, feel free to subscribe. Or if you'd like to support me in other ways, feel free to follow me on Twitch. There is also a link down below for donations. Have a nice day.